23-year-old Femi Nandap, who had a history of mental health problems and was known to police. Nandap has pleaded guilty to manslaughter on the grounds of diminished responsibility. But Dr Ensink's baby daughter will never know her father and may one day ask who was responsible for his death. 1970s Britain. It's a Rolls Royce of a sitcom. It was a fairy tale. A cosy treat for the whole family where humans and animals lived in perfect harmony and dungarees had never looked so appealing. I think everybody secretly fancied Felicity Kettle. I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for this. But behind the scenes, the good life was packed with secrets and scandals. When they saw it, the audience gasped. We'll reveal some dirty secrets of how the show was made. It smelt as if an incontinent pig had died in there. The scandalous past of one good life star. So the chances are, if he hadn't been an actor, he'd be in jail. Saucy secrets about the show's sexual politics. There's, there's quite a lot of subversive stuff at play. And how one dodgy dinner party nearly ended it all. So Penelope Keith nearly killed the cast of The Good Life. Of young black teenage boys yeah. who are members almost exclusively of gangs attacking each other so yeah. that the perpetrators and the victims appear to be almost exclusively young black men. The knife crime element of murder in London is predominantly young black of teenage course. boys. Yeah. Svensson Onga Kui were found guilty of Jodie's murder. Just a few months before she died, Jodie had visited 10 Downing Street with her scout group. Michael Adebolajo and Michael Adebowale, they ran over Fusilier Lee Rigby, armed with knives and a meat cleaver. Adebolajo tried to behead him. Adebowale hacked at his body. Ali Harbi Ali is arrest at the scene of the murder of MP Sir David Amos. 21 years old, Aloisi Dada admitted stabbing the 17-year-old Katrina Makanova to death.